we are trying out faith for an hour. Faith, well, the first faith originally came out in October 2017, but now there is a faith trilogy, which came out this October, which is all three games in one. September 21st, 1987. Oh good, there's voice acting. In one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Same. All right. Uh, we should probably read some instructions to move. I can use my keys. I'm using the keyboard, uh, not the controller. Free love apples. Oh no, a demon. Face them and cast them out with space key or A button. I cast you out. It's that easy. Alright, I guess that's everything we need to know. What are the options? Change the scan lines. If you so choose. Different backgrounds. Yeah, that seems like a nice piece of art there. All right, let's begin, then. We are trying this out for an hour. Marathon mode, all three chapters in one session. But uh, we'll just try it. We'll just try the beginning of it and see how it is. Turbo mode, we have not unlocked that. We're pulling off by the side of the road because something's got our attention. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay, that's our main menu. We've got a little map there. Don't know if the map actually helps us at all. Did the map change? No, map is still the same thing. I guess we see just a very high up overview. We're heading towards like a cave or a rock in the center of the map. I mean, like a couple houses on that map. A uh, well is what it is. Well, that did not turn out too well for us. I got an achievement for Mortis. <clears throat> well, we drove something out of the well, but then something got real mad at us doing that. Well, we... Oh, it's still around. That seems like a problem. It's very fast. I could try to cross it. But I don't have much time to do it. Okay. That does that does drive it away. So the map says there is a tree. I assume it's an important tree cuz not much is labeled on this map. Oh dear.
I don't know if there's a reason to chase the deer around. Maybe just leave him alone. Oh, we're back. Well, we know where we are now. I guess the map does wrap around. Let's try heading east and north a little bit. Oh no, help the deer! Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Well, we did, uh... Exorcise a soul? From... Whatever that was over there. So maybe that maybe didn't, things did not turn out too well for this family. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seems to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that, making, that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may, be, that may seem harsh to the layperson. We got a key. All right. Actually, I probably should go back to the well to see, because before I died and pulled a spirit out of the well, they did leave a note. Should probably read that. I'm invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go, pay, go straight past the well. I mean, there's no road. Like, there's a road that we got off at, but they're just expecting people to park on the side of the road and walk through this field. Sure is a talkie monster. Alright, we're in the home. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that's where Am explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Let's look at a family portrait. Oh, that did something. There was a ghost in the portrait. Ghosts in a lot of things around here, it seems. Guess I should be holding this up to see if I can exorcise ghosts. Well, I mean, it's not exorcising if you if it's a ghost. It's like specifically a demon. But I seem to be, I don't know, seem to be like spirits in the in things, and I'm pulling them out. Just wandering around the house, pointing my cross at things. Oh, 
Whoop. Ah, press spacebar right away. Seemed like it was a drawing. Can I look at these again? Notes, there we go. Hmm. Can I look at other... Oh, there we go. Looks like I'm missing some notes. There we go. Well, there's something a little bit colorful up there, but my cross does not affect it. Looks like there's some stairs going down before we do that. Okay, we're back in here. We can go upstairs or downstairs. Let's try the downstairs. As you usually have in a basement, you have like a like a dressing mannequin. What do you call these things? No one actually has these. But they're they're a, a frequent thing in horror settings. Hmm. Can I get over there? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what was the weirdest thing that I've seen as a missionary. The area we're working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbaba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15, when we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed the San Lomerte. He told me about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San Lomerte, and the figures, started to, the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that, but he, we invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Just a little letter about, you know, nothing in particular. Just the, the local religion. Probably not important for you to know about this. Oh, look at these. It's leaking down here. You gotta get this fixed. Can't just let that go. Well, I mean, I guess there is a reason for someone to have these mannequins. Look, they have a sewing machine down here. Maybe they use it quite frequently. I cannot expunge spirits from the sewing machine, however. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was, was hysterical. And the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh no! We lost a girl. We lost a possessed girl. She is here. Oh good! I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when we first met downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. This smug demon thinking it's so smart because it can speak Latin. 
Witness my linguistic skills, O oh man of God. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I think it's, I believe it's called a sexy doll? I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh, toys. Are they infused with spirits? Mortis. I guess Amy does not want us around her toys. Very well. She is here. She's very protective. I guess we might as well still pick up the notes anyway. Yeah, the rubber ducky. Rubber ducky was haunted. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God, Bob comes home tomorrow. Bob will fix everything. Is the toilet haunted? It does not appear so. I guess you have to get her, get the right direction. You gotta aim that cross in the right direction. The cross isn't effective unless it's pointing... Unless it's pointing at the, at the right one, you understand. You see, you might think that when it comes to the, the crucifix's effect on evil spirits, you might think it's like an area of effect, kind of radiating out in a circle. No, it's more like a directional thing. Oh. Mortis. I guess I just walked into it. I wonder is she always in that part of the room? actually know if there's a reason to recollect the notes. Alright. Is she going to be mad at me about being around her toys? Yeah, here she comes. She got a Simon. Truly a demonic toy, if I've ever seen one. Make sure there's no Satan in these toys. Alright, is she here? Here she comes. I don't think we can interact with this door. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, might as well get that other note here. 
in the rubber ducky. So, whoop. She's getting pretty quick. Alright, so let's see if there's anything still. Oh, okay. Do it enough times, and I guess we have some progress. Wow, this house has another floor. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there. Waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, I know that I love you. And I'm sorry. John. Ah! Spinning crucify! My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Is our crucifix powerful enough? My cross is not, has no effect on him. Oh, she's got demon face. Mortis. She had an advanced case of demon face. Mortis. Gotta be quicker on the draw. The crucifix draw. Oh, she got me anyway. Just battering rams me. Does, do I need to get do I need to start hitting her earlier to stop her can oh, can I walk out that seems like she's moving too fast to walk out of the way Mortis. Mortis can I walk out of the room? Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, these dodges. This priest is so agile. So much health. At least, I guess, is that what you refer to? Whatever. Oh, there we go. Her resistance to crucifixion. Oh. She's got, like, demon arm. Mortis. 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 She's vomiting up arm. That's never a good sign. Mortis. Mortis. And I can't be too can't get too greedy with the crucifix damage. Gotta make sure that I start moving in time to dodge. I mean, her head brushed my feet. That should only be slight damnation. Instead of, you know, the full damnation. Oh, she did another time that time. She's mixing it up a little bit. The devil knows that he can't get too predictable. Oh, Ghost Man! He th she threw out Ghost Man at me that time. Oh. Mortis. See, I figure what the priest should have done is he just should have taped a whole ton of crucifixes all over his clothes. That way he's, radi he's radiating out faith from every direction. Doesn't matter which, go which way he's running. He's hitting everywhere. Ah, did it fourth that time. 
Mortis. So I just I think he's not really thinking ahead here. He's got to think about the advanced crucifix crucifix techniques. Then again, to be fair, uh, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember ever learning about how exactly the the crucifix area of effect works myself. I don't remember this ever being taught to me. So, I mean, I would assume that when you're studying to be a priest, that they go over this. But I don't remember this ever coming up in school. Mortis. And you know, it's a... Went the wrong... It's important to go over this stuff in school, you know? Like, they never really te tell... T they never really teach you about the practical side of religion. Like, it's all just... Whoop. Oh. Wrong direction. It's all, it's, it all just really gets into very, like, general, uh, theoretical stuff, and not, like, actually putting things into practice, you know? And it's like, yeah, sure, they tell you the crucifix is powerful, but they don't actually want to get into, like, what the actual power level is. And they'll be like, you know, the numbers aren't important. It's just enough to know that it's powerful. You don't need to know the exact power. But it's useful to be able to quantify these things, you know? Numbers can be useful in that way. Out the window. Got an achievement. It says the first time, the last time. I guess we should head back outside then. Well, are we are we here are we here to kill her? I thought we were here to exorcise that demon. It's kind of beyond, past the purview of the priest, I think. I was looking around to see if there's anything else of interest in here, but I'm assuming we're going outside. Map is the same. Now, there was another thing outside in the forest. A crawly, a crawly boy. Is he still out here? Here's our car. <laughs> and job well done. It is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me.
I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Game over. Ending five of five when faith endures. Oh, there are multiple endings. Um, I wonder what causes those endings. Is it what you choose to do with the shotgun? Police animal experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be that of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. It is a mountain lion, or if a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found. Although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Presents! New background unlocked, new chapter mode unlocked. We got bonuses. And Gary loves you, apparently. Let's take a look at those extras. Well, okay. Well, there's Conjuration Mode, which is coming soon. But I guess we could take a look at our new background anyway. Flashlight mode. Walk by faith, not by sight. Lantern mode. Darkness, darkness surrounds thee. Alright. That's... Seems like it would be a lot harder. Let's take a look at the new background we unlocked. A little bit of a more of a rendering around girl with no face and big arm coming out of face. One thing I'm wondering is that the map does show a tree on it. I didn't see like a special tree or anything, but I guess we could look around and see if there's like a big tree. I mean, okay, that looks like a big tree. Did it drop a note? There we go, there's a note. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree. It looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Is there any particular reason for that? Oh, because she works at the clinic, right, of course. Alright, well... I guess that's a, a playthrough of Faith. Chapter 1. There are other endings. Uh, like I said, I can only assume it has to do with what you, who, what you decide to use that bullet on. There was only one there was only one round in that gun, and we used it on what appeared to be a chupacabra. Uh however, Amy, the possessed Amy, did go out the window, and I assume she was still out there somewhere. 
And then there's maybe well, there's also maybe the possibility of uh, not shooting anyone with it, maybe, or m missing with the bullet. Hey, you can't even see him coming if he's not in the cone of light. That does make it that does make it a lot harder. I wanted to see if you could switch it to lantern mode here. Does not seem so. Well, that is our look at Faith, Chapter 1. One thing, we reached any ending of Chapter 1. 64.1% of players have reached that achievement. Okay. What does AI-generated Rock think about Faith, Chapter 1, though? That's the important part here. Uh, do I have any religious... Anything that would be... Pre that would be... No, actually, I don't. Pretty sure I don't. I don't think there's anything that would be... Hmm... Well, I mean, this is what this is a rock we've used before. But maybe we could use this rock. It's a rock that is searching through the darkness, trying to find demons, and maybe a chupacabra. Or, or maybe the rock is the, the chupacabra. That's also a possibility. Um, I enjoyed the game. I thought that this was a pretty good. And uh, there are three chapters. Be curious to know what chapters two and three would be like. Are they about the same priest going to exorcise some demons? I don't know. But uh, I thought that the the line drawing rotoscoped cutscenes was a very interesting, unique look. It's not something you see quite often. And it is a bit a nice contrast to the Atari 2600 looking gameplay. Um, very short game but you know effective i think that this was a pretty good little little bite-sized horror game i don't know if faith chapter two and three are as bite-sized that's what it was for faith chapter one